Hello, my people, and welcome back to another video on the Racer channel. And this is actually a little bit different than the usual Basie Boy videos that I'm going to do. But I was just sitting here at my vinyl record crate looking through all of the music that I have. And I figured, why not just give you guys a little record collection tour video? And um, I already have a few records just like picked out here. Um, just from all the rummaging through so I'll be reaching over here and over here So don't think I'm some sort of magician channel by making them appear from hell. All right, so now getting on to I guess we'll just get started with the um, The records and uh, if there are any records that you guys Recognize which you guys I'm pretty normie when it comes to music. I don't know a lot of you know indie bands most of the indie bands that I know my girlfriend has um, introduce me to. But yeah, I guess we shall start with some of the newest records that I've gotten. Um, the newest record that I got for my, or the newest group of records that I got for my birthday, actually, um, are three metal albums or metal core albums and then one um, soundtrack. The first one is That's the Spirit by Bring Me the Horizon. I've been recently getting big into Bring Me the Horizon. I think that this album is really, really good. One of their best. That's the Spirit has some amazing songs on it, like Doomed and Happy Song. But also some, also some really nice ones like Run and Drown are really good, too. And then next up, we have a band that I've been recently getting into a lot more, which is Bad Omens. I actually heard their song, Just Pretend, not on TikTok. I fucking hate TikTok. Um, not, no disrespect to anybody who's on TikTok. I just, you know, have an attention span. So, yes, this is the Bad Omens, the Death of Peace of Mind album. It's got some great songs just like as I just mentioned, Just Pretend, but also Like a Villain and The Death of Peace of Mind, the, um, the Toddle Track. Not, not like the um, Australian Turtle Track, not the Turtle Track, but the Title Track. This one here is from a band that I actually discovered through the um, YouTube channel Drum Beats Online. I'm really into um, learning about drumming and stuff like that, but I don't actually have a drum kit. And I don't think I ever will. I just think drumming is really, really interesting. But this is a metal, a new metal um, band called I Prevail. And this is their probably most popular known album, Trauma. And it has great songs like Breaking Down, Every Time You Leave, and Hurricane are just some highlights from this. Every song is a banger on here, though. And then lastly, from this new set of vinyl that I got is the Chainsaw Man anime um, soundtrack. I'm a big fan of this anime, as you guys know from my Chainsaw Man um, cosplay video. I'm a big fan of this anime and this manga. And uh, I just, as big of a fan of the manga I am, I had to get the soundtrack for this anime. Really, really good stuff for like doing chores and things like that. If you need some really like intense stuff to get shit done with, this is your album right here. And moving on to more of the, um, <clears throat> more of the, like, centered albums from, like, one band, I'll first show you all of my Gorillaz albums. So first I have the really, really good album, Cracker Island. Um, I absolutely love this vinyl, love this album. Me and my girlfriend love this vinyl and love this album. And then next is the na is the Now Now. Um, I actually need to listen to this album. I went through a phase where I was trying to collect every Gorillaz album, but I actually have not really listened to this one really at all. So I need to um, I need to listen to this one. And then next we have The Fall, which is really good. I personally really like it. It's got Hillbilly Man, Detroit, and um, things like Amarillo and stuff like that, which are really good songs, I think. And then we're getting to sort of their more, um, sort of their more like well-known albums. We have Gorilla's Plastic Beach, and yeah, I used this um, record insert as a little decoration for my dorm room. But I think this album is really, really cool, really, really awesome. It's got "Up on Melancholy Hill" on it, one of the most relaxing songs I've ever heard in my life. 
And then we have probably my favorite Gorillaz album, which I think it's everybody's favorite Gorillaz album. We have Demon Days, and it's got classics like Dirty Harry, Feel Good Inc., but also really, really un like I feel like songs that need more recognition, like Last Living Souls and um, Don't Get Lost in Heaven and title track Demon Days, I think are really, really cool. And then we have their first album, I'm pretty sure, which is this, the Gorillaz self-titled album. This has freaking awesome stuff like um, Clint Eastwood and then Double Bass, which I think is just freaking awesome. All of these albums, really, really good. The ones I've listened to anyway. I've listened to Gorillaz, the Demon Days album, Plastic Beach, and only a little bit of The Fall and The Now Now. Um, I need to listen to more of both of these. But Cracker Island is a classic. And now, moving on to another band that I'm also really into, thanks to my lovely girlfriend Alice, we have The 1975. And they are a really, really cool band. All of their albums slap, and I love them all. This is Being Funny in a Foreign Language has such freaking classics like Human 2, Oh Caroline, About You, different stuff like that. Really, really awesome album. And then here we have their sort of their most scattered album, but it's still a really good one. We have Notes on a Conditional Form. I still love it. It's got songs like Shiny Collarbone, Jesus Christ 2005, um, God Bless America, and then If You're Too Shy, Let Me Know, one of their classics to play at their live shows. I've seen them live twice, not to flex. Thank you, Alice, for introducing me to this epic band. But yeah, this um, I really do like this album, even though it's really scattered. And then we have a brief inquiry into online relationships, which is another really, really good um, album. Has a bunch of really, really good tracks. And yes, like, um, oh, what is it? Give Yourself a Try, uh, I Like America and America Likes Me. Um, songs like, yeah, I Couldn't Be More In Love is a very underrated track from this album. And yeah just really really good really really good album and then we have probably my personal favorite album i like it when you sleep for you are so beautiful yet so unaware of it and this is one of the longest album names <laughs> i've ever heard but it's a really really banging album it's got awesome songs like paris and love me and if i believe you which needs to be played at more live shows um, but yeah, just a really, really freaking cool album. I love the pink neon lights. And then their classic, the 1975 self-titled album. It's got amazing songs like The City and Sex and Robbers and Menswear and Pressure and just all the great stuff. Hard Out as well. And yeah, just really, really good songs. Really, really good albums from a fucking fantastic band. Alrighty, alrighty. So moving on to the actual stuff that I would dig out of the crate here. First, so I might forget some of the stuff that we have that I have. First, we have Hosier's self-titled album. Freaking awesome album. Angel of Small Death in the Codeine Scene. Uh, Jackie and Wilson in a week work song. Freaking awesome, awesome track. Awesome album. If you guys have never listened to this, I mean, Hosier is really, really popular right now. Too Sweet, be a freaking awesome song, by the way, is up there and just really, really good album. Highly recommend that one. And then we have, getting into a little bit of the lesser known, but still pretty well known, we have Grimes' Art Angels album, another beautiful album that my girlfriend actually got me into. And some of the art that is in this album is so freaking good. I just, I, I love getting the vinyl for this just so I can have this art physically in person. But I love Grimes um, laughing and the song Scream and Belly of the Bee is such, such a good, such a good album. Really good electronic and um, overall just album. And then here is an album that I really enjoy, Darling Sides. Uh, I'm not actually sure. Yeah, Darling Sides, Extra Life album. Um, my girlfriend really adores this band, Darling Side. I went to see them live, and that's where I actually got this with her. And they're really, really good 
they're a really, really good band for just like chill vibes and like sort of upbeat vibes and things like that. Vi I, I refer to them as sort of YouTube background music, but so much fucking better than YouTube background music. Like, I'm probably going to get crucified for saying that, but I love Darling Side. Everything about this album is so freaking good. And then we have Stevie Nicks' album. Um, I found this at a nice little thrift store. Um, it is her first solo LP, Belladonna. And I actually need to listen to this album because ever since I got it in a New York City sort of bargain store, I have just put it away and have not listened to it. Even though Stevie Nicks is on the Cracker Island, um, she's on the Cracker Island album. I've not actually listened to this album. I just thought it was really cool. And really, really nice looking. Now to an album that I've actually listened to. And I'm sure everybody has listened to this album. We have Daft Punk. And I think that... what? Oh, I forgot the name of this um, this album. I It's not Random Access Memories. But it's got amazing songs. Like One More Time, Digital Love, Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger. Something About Us, Voyager. All, all the amazing stuff. Um... And yeah, just a classic album. Anybody who has never listened to Daft Punk before, you've got to get this album. It is freaking amazing. And then next, we have the Too Weird to Live and Too Rare to Die album by Panic at the Disco. I really like this album. I know Panic at the Disco is sort of like a... <laughs> might be a cringy band to some, but I really like this song. It's got songs like This is Gospel, Girl That You Love, Nicotine, Far Too Young to Die, and The End of All Things. Really, really good album. And yeah, just the um, the album cover is just freaking iconic. So, And then we have King Crimson Discipline, which is really good. King Crimson, very, very good alternative band. And uh, it might be a little bit too weird for some, but I actually really, really like this album. My girlfriend's dad actually gave this to me, so shout out to you, Jim. And then, if you're a collector of vinyl, you very likely have this album in your collection. I am talking about Abbey Road by The Beatles. Personally, I don't really like The Beatles all that much, but this album has classics like Here Comes the Sun, Maxwell's Silver Hammer, Come Together, and, you know, classic stuff. And so, yeah, I just had to pick it up, saw this in a record store, and, I mean, it's just a classic album. You gotta get it. And then we have... Queen, the Greatest Hits album. Now, I actually do not own any Queen albums other than this one, but this one had Bohemian Rhapsody, Fat Bottom Girls, um, you know, stuff like... Well, actually, I lied. I do have another Queen album in here. It's my favorite album. What am I talking about? Bright and Rock um, is my favorite album. And, uh, but, well, not my favorite album. Bright and Rock's my favorite song. Um, this is just proving how little I actually know about these bands. <laughs> But yeah, this um, Queen's Greatest Hits album has so many amazing songs from all of these amazing albums. Queen, one of the best bands of all time. And then we have, as I was talking about before, we have Random Access Memories by Daft Punk. It's got things like Get Lucky, but also really, really cool things like Give Life Back to Music, The Game of Love. All great stuff. Another amazing album from a fantastic um, electronic music pair. And then next up, we'll actually move some of these. We've got my favorite Queen album ever, Sheer Heart Attack. Got amazing things like Dear Friends, Lily of the Valley, Flick of the Wrist, Brighton and Rock, and Killer Queen. Bro, this album, freaking amazing, and all the boys are looking fab, as always, on this album cover. And then next, we have another one of my favorite albums ever, the Killer's Hot Fuss album. Their most classic and probably their most popular album ever. It's got uh, Mr. Brightside, Smile Like You Mean It, Jenny Was a Friend of Mine, um, Believe Me Natalie, and all that amazing stuff. Just an amazing album. I actually saw them live at Bourbon and Beyond in Louisville, Kentucky, and amazing time. Went with my girlfriend, Alice. I'll bring my girlfriend Alice up a lot in this video. But yes, next we have, I love this band. We're getting into sort of the metal and lesser known um, people in the music world, at least 
to me, I, like I don't listen to a lot, a lot of music, but I listen to, I have tinnitus, so I listen to a lot of um, music just to drown out the noise of it. But here we have my favorite speed metal band, Dragon Force, Reaching Into Infinity, an amazing, amazing rock album. I know that Dragon Force can sort of sound the same to a lot of people and their music does begin to sound the same after you listen to a whole album of them but they still rock and they are still freaking epic and then here we have if you're an emo person or or even into metal and rock music like that you have to have evanescence fallen on vinyl it is freaking awesome has songs like going under bring me to life and then my immortal as well sadly not the band version of i'm i am my immortal which is i think is one of their best songs ever but yeah evanescence amazing amazing album and then here we have disturbs album indestructible and it is a pretty it is a pretty good album as well i really do like disturbed i love all of their music um deceiver the night haunted torn all amazing songs from this album and then coming up here next we have another discur dis disturbed really disturbed album and this is i believe it's called Di yeah divisive this is disturbs album divisive really really good album and just i love their album art i mean freaking check that shit out bro check it out and then we have dragon forces one of their most favorite albums by me we have extreme power metal and then he, it's got like the um cosmic power of the infinite shred machine the last dragon born troopers of the stars freaking amazing album and then it also has a cover of my heart will go on by celine dion and then here this album holds so much special place so many special places in my heart we have bon Iver's i i album and oh my goodness songs like freaking hey ma and other songs that i have trouble um like even saying it's just so it's so freaking good and it's just oh my lord i freaking adore this album so much amazing amazing indie experimental all all over the mark um album but i highly recommend bonnie Ver i i album if anything just go listen to hey ma by bonnie Ver. you will fall in love with him immediately speaking of falling in love with people immediately i have another album that sadly got water spilt on it um to the cover at least but this is sleep tokens take me back to eden one of the best i do not care your opinion on sleep token i think that they are freaking amazing metal band and it's got amazing songs like taking me back to eden granite chokehold are you really okay and do you wish that you love me all of the songs in this album freaking slap hard and then next we have one of the pioneers of sort of the um like i'd say industrial metal and sort of halloween metal we have rob zombies the lunar the lunar injection kool-aid and eclipse kool-aid eclipse conspiracy i am stumbling over my words boys i'm so sorry but yeah it's such an it's such a cool freaking album bro i love rob zombie it's got explaining the head of zed which is the intro and then it's got the tribe of king freak but also it's got um the ballad of sleaze rider just an amazing album go give it a listen if you're not and then we have another classic emo album we have my chemical romances welcome to the black parade and or just the black parade and a classic album you know the story of the guy who's dying from cancer interacting with death and stuff like that amazing amazing album for any of you guys who have yet to listen to this album go do that right now and then we have another soundtrack album um i actually adore this movie I, it's the barbie soundtrack and it's such it's got such good songs on it um yeah i'm just ken choose your fighter by ava max what was i made for billy eilish 
Um, and then Pink by Lizzo opening up the movie. Just really good album. Um, if you're a fan of Barbie, I highly recommend picking it up. And then here we have another Bring Me the Horizon album. This is their Sempaternal album. And it's got... It's got all of their classics, the Giga Chad meme, Can You Fill My Heart, but it's also have House of Wolves and um, Hospital for Souls, which is one of their most emotional um, songs ever. And also Sleepwalking is a really, really good song too. And also Shadow Moses, their classic one from this album, might as well be their um, their title track for this album, but it's really, really dope album. Highly recommend it if you guys have not listened to it yet. And then here, we're getting to the last of my metal-ish albums. There might be a few more here that I um, forget to mention. Actually, yeah, there will be. Um, but we have Ailstorm, The Curse of the Crystal Coconut, Ailstorm, Scottish Pirate Metal Band, and they are just really fun, really good time. Um, if you're looking for some fun pirate metal to blast out to while you're on your next voyage across the sea, this is a really, really good album. And then here we have another soundtrack, and I actually just really love all of the music that's in this soundtrack, but it's from the movie Baby Driver. Awesome, awesome soundtrack to this movie. Um, the Blues Explosion song, Bell Bottoms, to name a few, just is freaking awesome. And then you have Tequila and all the other stuff. Really, really classic um, album for a really, really good movie. And then here we have a band that needs more recognition. We have Type A Houston's Once Bit Never Bored album. And um, as you can see here, it says Carson and Alice, thank you. It's because we actually saw Type A Houston live. They've opened up for the Foo Fighters and they are really, really good. It's um, a drum and bass duo with um, two brothers and just fucking awesome album. Go listen to it. Type A Houston, Once Bit Never Bored, highly recommend it. And then here, oh uh, my girl, my freaking girl, we have Celine Dion's Let's Talk About Love album. And it's just, ugh, so, so freaking good. Got My Heart Will Go On, um, When I Need You, The Reason, Immort Immorality, Immortality actually, and just freaking amazing album i absolutely adore this album and i adore this woman miss celine dion i really wish i could have gotten to see her live but sadly she's dealing with medical complications so hopefully hope you're doing well celine out there but just go listen to this album and then we have another <laughs> another soundtrack from one of my favorite movies ever we have music from the motion picture of titanic an insanely big oh oops an insanely big album with some insanely beautiful orchestral music and just awesome. I recommend this if you're in your feelings and want to clean your house, throw this album on. You will get it done and you won't even need any water to clean your counters with because your tears will do the job for you. And then here we are getting to some more albums that I'm a big fan of. Here we have D'Angelo's Brown Sugar album. A really, really awesome, sort of funky, um, just good feeling album. If you want a nice album, just about loving and stuff like that. Nice, nice mood setter album, this one. And just, yeah, D'Angelo's Brown Sugar. Give it a listen if you haven't. And then here we are getting into some Paramore with This Is Why by Paramore. One of their um, really, really good albums has songs like um, Big Man, Little Dignity, and uh, the title track, This Is Why, but also Liar and Thick Skull. Really, really good album, and I love this album cover. And then here we have Guts by Olivia Rodrigo. I absolutely love this album. And we have Perfect All-American Bitch, Bad Idea Right, but also Get Him Back and Love Is Embarrassing and Ballad of a Homeschool Girl. Really, really classic album. Um, at least in my opinion, this is better than Sour. And then I'm kind of ashamed. Actually, no, I'm not ashamed. It's music. I can enjoy what I want. But we have the Tickets to My Downfall album by uh, Machine Gun Kelly. And this is the only Machine Gun Kelly album that I have because I just love all the songs. He might be a disgrace um, in some people's eyes, but I just really like it. It's music that I enjoy. And I feel like you should be able to enjoy whatever music you wish. And then here we are getting to my boy, the legend, 
Bruno Mars. I have every single ah, I have every single one of Bruno Mars's albums, starting with "An Evening with Silk Sonic." Go listen to it. I don't have to say anymore. Just go fucking listen to this. And then we have Bruno Mars' 24 Karat Magic album. All of these, I'm just going to say go listen to it because every single one of these um, albums have classic after classic after classic on it. Bruno Mars does not miss. He is the John Wick of music, in my humble opinion. He, here we have Bruno Mars on Orthodox Jukebox, my personal favorite album of him. And it's just so freaking good. Go listen. And then his debut album, Doo-Wops and Hooligans, just absolutely amazing album and the thing that started off his career so yeah i kind of like bruno mars i have to get all of his albums to just prove how much i like him let's freaking stay up guys come on all righty and here we've got a classic album and it's a my only one of my only picture discs we have the michael jackson thriller album Classic one, go listen to it if you haven't. Michael Jackson, an absolutely amazing artist. And then, if my albums would just stay up, this was actually a gift from my mom, um, for my mom, because she loves Joan Jett and the Black Heart. So I have not given this album a listen, and it's her greatest hits album. But yeah, it's got Bad Reputation and I Love Rock and Roll on here. And uh, yeah, Joan Jett. Pretty, pretty decent from what I've heard. And then here we have my boy Charlie Puth. I really, really love Charlie Puth. Saw him live um, with Blue to Tiger. Excuse me. In New York City. Really, really good album. This is the Charlie Be Quiet album, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but it's got all amazing songs. Charlie Puth, really, really good pop artist. And then we have another album by Mr. Charlie Puth. This is Voice Notes. And this is his classic album. It's got songs like Attention, um, L.A. Girls, let's see what else, um, Slow It Down, and um, Change featuring James Taylor is really beautiful. Really, really good album. I highly recommend it. And then we're getting to the end here. I have an entire array of anime um, soundtracks for you guys. Here is the Cowboy Bebop soundtrack. Really, really great soundtrack with a lot of nice little jazzy elements. I actually played Tank from this album, um, and it's really, really freaking good. Go give it a listen if you have not. And then here is one of my favorite movies ever, the movie that Alice and I... Um, it was the first movie that Alice and I ever watched together. It is Spirited Away... Actually... Was that the first movie we watched together? One of the first movies we watched together, I'm pretty sure we watched a few more before this one, but it was the movie that her and I had our first little smooch to. And so, yeah, just an amazing, nice, calming album full of some really, really fun songs and just an amazing time for this album. Absolutely amazing and holds some very, very special memories for me. And then here, I got this just because it looked really cool. We have the Nightmare Before Christmas album. And all classics are really good. And um, it is the only time I will support Disney in a vinyl buying thing. All right. Next up, we've got Oh My Goodness Gravy. My favorite movie probably of all time. We have A Silent Voice. An amazing, amazing soundtrack actually made by the same composer who did the Chainsaw Man soundtrack. Amazing, amazing album. Go give this a listen. It is just such beautiful music. And then here, we've got another Studio Ghibli movie, Howl's Moving Castle. Beautiful, beautiful music from this amazing, beautiful movie. Go give it a listen if you guys have not. And yeah, just really, really beautiful vinyl here. And then we are getting down to the wire here. We only have three more little vinyls to look at. We have a classic rap album, N.W.A. Straight Out of Compton, an amazing, amazing album for anybody who's a fan of rock. N not fucking rock. Anybody who's a fan of gangster rap and just really, really good lyricism. I mean, I personally think so. I love this album. And then getting down to the last two here, we have two albums from my favorite rapper, um, or at least one of my favorite rappers, 
NF's Hope and NF's Perception are both really, really good albums. Really, really nice albums, and NF has actually helped me through some really, really tough times. But yeah, that is the extent of my record collection, and this was just a little impromptu video that I thought I'd show you guys, but yeah, my uh, thought would be listen to music and enjoy. I will see you guys in the next bass playing video that I decide to do, or whatever video I decide to do next. Bye, guys.